I've traveled through Europe extensively throughout the years and I don't know how it happened that I never made it to Switzerland but um, and I've seen hundreds of photographs I've seen it on television many times and I knew it was supposed to be really beautiful but actually being here in person you cannot describe the experience because it's not just about seeing things or feeling things it's about all the senses together it's about the smell it's about the air it's about the the sky it's about the all the colors all, all the different shades of of colors that cannot simply be portrayed correctly through artwork or or photographs it's you really have to be here physically and all of it together creates this incredible energy of uh, peace and uh, beauty actually my first very first instrument was guitar and uh, then uh, as a teenager I spent most of my time just don't tell anyone I spent most of my time playing rock and roll and practicing blues on on the guitar it didn't for some reason it never occurred to me it was just very sort of a closed minded um, environment where I was musically in the in the classical music school where you couldn't just dare even think about taking the cello and doing anything anything like that on on, on the cello at least I, I didn't didn't occur to me it was not until 20 years down the road that I finally was able to bring those things together all the years of practicing the licks on on, on guitar and uh, then um, bringing it to to the cello and uh, developing something completely different. My first and earliest inspiration is, is my father. It's to him that I owe uh, most of my talent genetically, I think, and uh, as far as the experience, uh, the, the, the early artistic experience is concerned. He, he although he doesn't and never considered himself a professional musician, he um, was extremely gifted, and as a as a hobby, as a side um, side thing, he achieved a very very high level of musicianship, and it's something that he uh, has always said was the charisma that uh, uh, something that drew people to him. And I very feel I'm very fortunate that I've uh, inherited at least some of it from him, and uh, I always um, enjoyed. Um, Hearing my dad play, he played played all sorts of instruments: piano, guitar, um, sang in different languages. Uh, so for me, it was a um, very um, defining experience. I loved it. I loved every second uh, being here. It's uh, it's really unique, it's cozy, it's uh, artistic, it uh, has great energy and the kind of energy that you emit here attracts the, 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 the certain kind of people that, um, that also bring in their own energy and together it's just like this uh, uh, energetical exchange that creates um, the most amazing experience for both artists and, and the audience. Actually, flying and the sky was um, another passion for me since um, as long as I remember myself. In the summer, my parents uh, rented a, um, a cottage near, um, near a small airport. And I spent hours and hours and hours every day watching the small aerobatic planes and, uh, and skydiving planes dropping parachutes. I could spend uh, easily five, ten hours a day just just looking, uh, meditating, looking at, at those planes. And again, I didn't even, at that time, I didn't even think that I, it would ever uh, be possible, something that I was dreaming of, but I didn't even dare think that I would ever be able to do those things. But as I grew older, I felt I really have to uh, 
be able to experience those things. So I got into uh, jumping from airplanes and into, uh, learn how to fly planes. And uh, it's a very liberating experience. <laughs>